What I thought really believe this. What I thought was really interesting was yesterday how she was arguing against it, and, yeah. and today Betsy mm -hmm. DeVos said, "I like how the president and I see eye to eye on this." Yeah, it was like a complete <laughs> yeah. Yeah. switch around. Right. Well, she must be cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> the um, first of all. The, the way he's treated Betsy DeVos and the, the, that entire interaction, right. I don't know how this woman, who was very rich and could go, you know, sit in a yacht, is still working for him because he has thrown her under the bus. He's, you know, not that, uh, you know, she comes across heartless, not that she needs much help on that, but, you know, she's being called Cruella DeVos and she's still working for him after he yanks the rug from under her feet. But, but more than that, you know, Special Olympics is something that we were all so passionate about and we all recognize the name. But it's not just Special Olympics. It was millions and millions and millions of dollars in grants for special education, for autism, for blind students. A 26% cut for state grants. And so we have got to be vigilant that it is not only Special Olympics that is getting reinstated, yeah. but it is all these grants. Because I don't want these faux Christians talking to me about, you know, how to treat people right. if we can't treat the needy. And yeah. the people who need this help with compassion. Well, it just shows you, though, doesn't it, what this administration is all about. Right, right there, it shows you that. Well, but to the point that, that she's working for him when she's so rich and has ten yachts. Have you seen the pictures? She's really rich. And uh, really rich. Rhymes with rich, huh? Um, <laughs> well, I don't think her wealth but, but, should but be what held I was against gonna, her in no. this situation. I mean, I, I actually think it's admirable when people are extremely wealthy and decide to go into public service, regardless of how you feel. We were all in agreement on this policy mm -hmm. about Special Olympics. We all thought it was a bad move and ill-advised and all these things. But I, I really wouldn't bring her, no, but her what personal I'm family wealth need, into this argument. She doesn't need the paycheck, right? To be putting up with some kind of humiliation. It just shows you feel compelled to go into But I think the service. suggestion is that she might be out of touch because she's so wealthy and maybe it doesn't occur to her. Well, she was a very controversial choice because she didn't have a background in education to begin with. So that that's my issue more no than how wealthy no her family mom. is. Well, also just being, know, being okay with this being the news, knowing what the headline's going to be. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat, what if you're color purple. Like, that's something we all care about. And so it's like... Clearly, she didn't have enough in her heart in that moment to know. And, and it, it's, I think it's difficult for the country. This is an administration that locks up children in cages, that separates children from their families. We expect well, compassion from them. They're the opposite of that. Well, I mean, just again, I, I don't think it was about her heart in this situation. I think it was about the... the idea that where we should make cuts on yeah. programming and that was her argument which we all agreed yesterday was ill-advised and the amount of money was i believe 15 million dollars which is four trips to mar-a-lago so if we could just again extract emotion mm -hmm. from some of these conversations and stick with facts instead of doing character assassinations on people i think it's more effective Megan, I, I can't part of the I can't, reason I why it worked i, I can't no. i don't emotion. like her i don't like him no. i had a very i mean as you well mm -hmm. i mean as everyone is very clear i have a lot of right. personal feelings about the president but I, for me for me to get through this administration, I can't. I can't traffic in this in this kind of way. I have to stick with facts, or I'm going to well, lose. I gotta tell you, I, I have got. Why, why I've would got you to stick a... with facts when they're all all about alternative because, facts? Because I am better than they are. Yeah, no, but you, because you're... I because I hold myself to a different standard than they do. And the second I go low with this administration is the second I lose my credibility and my character, and I will not do it. Yeah, and I think it's fair to attack the policy. I think that's exactly right. You can't stoop to that level. That's an easy attack line for a lot of Republicans that they don't have a heart, they don't care about the poor, because their policies might be different. Do they need to do a better job at times explaining why they feel the way they do? Yes, but I think painting a broad brush and saying they aren't human, they ride on no, yachts, yeah, I think that, that. Takes, that. Us, that, that, that takes us to their level, okay, too. But it is because that's not we, what we got be. emotional. It is because the American people got emotional and showed their heart and their anger and their frustration that's right. that this is getting over. Feeling. If we yes. just sat there reading statistics, I, I don't believe, it would not been, I don't believe I'm sitting and reading statistics. No, no, I just, I'm, not, I'm not talking about you. Okay. I'm talking about the American people in mm. general. This is an emotional issue. There was this emotional. And you, you don't you want know, people running backlash. the country who have no sympathy or but, empathy but I do for think, the poor but and the Joy, disabled. But your, your argument yesterday that it was merely four trips to Mar-a-Lago for the president, I think for a lot of people yeah. was the fact that changed their minds because that's a lot of garbage. That four trips to Mar-a-Lago were the equivalent of funding the Special Olympics. I mean, if you want to talk about personalities or whatever, that's the fact that I well, think was the kill shot for this. I don't honestly, see why I can't Because it's both. ridiculous. Why it's can't ridiculous. Four trips to Mar-a-Lago versus Special Olympic funding? I, I, think, I don't think anyone in your right or left could think that's not that's you not. Know, one of the ridiculous. ways that Donald Trump won is to, is to, be, is to be emotional and not give facts. 
He won that way. Well, I, I don't have the luxury that, that all of you do because, for all the obvious reasons, I don't have that luxury. And I have to try and stick in facts. Well, we'll do both. Okay. <laughs> Coming up, the tabloids claim that Lady Gaga dumped her fear.